Last year we did 25% growth in e-com. Right now it makes up about 7% of our total turnover. Um, we're targeting a 20% um, long-term future. From a transportation perspective, you've got to take into account you're shipping little boxes as opposed to big pallet full, pallets full of, of products, so it could be more expensive. Uh, you have to write, have the right, negotiate, right contracts with your, with your transportation suppliers. From just, just a standard pick and pack process, is uh, you have to have the right infrastructure in place in order to support that within the DC so it can be quickly picked and packed and shipped. Um, the, the, probably the most expensive piece that we're dealing with right now is the reverse logistics. Okay, so how do we manage the returns? Given that e-com on, on average has somewhere around 20 to 25 percent return rate on everything you ship, so somebody will go and they'll buy you know, three different sizes of a shirt and then they'll, re the, they'll keep the one that fits and they'll return the, last, the other two. You know, so how do you deal with that? These, a lot more volume coming in on the return side of your warehouse, making sure it's, it's in sellable condition again and putting it back in the shelf in time so that it can get shipped out again. That is probably the most expensive piece that we're dealing with.